Howdy everybody, Sean again here from Cappy's Cards, and I got a couple more of these Walgreens boxes today. I was in a different Walgreens, so I saw these and decided to grab them. Let's see if we have any more luck this time than we've had in the past with uh, these Fairfield Mystery boxes from them. And I also grabbed the only other pack they had there was a pack of Bowman from 2022 Baseball. And I don't think I've ever opened that, so I figured what the hell, we'll take a chance and uh, we'll see what we got. So coming up here on Christmas, right, and... Over in the shop, been trying to work through and update packs as I've been uh, doing things. If you check us out over here in our Etsy shop, and I'll have the link in the description as always, as well as the link to all the social media feeds and stuff like that where you can follow us as I, you know, create packs and put things up for sale and that sort of thing. So check us out. Got an 88 Donruss pack, which I think I had the last time or one of the last times that I opened this product, right? So we'll check that out. Let's see what the baseball cards are we got here. Let's see if we actually got a hit. So all of these will wind up in the product I was just talking about as well. I am updating the baseball right now. The football has been updated. I am sold out of about 10 baseball teams, though, so I'm trying to get them back in stock. And uh, I've already got about six football teams sold out from the last time I just updated here around Thanksgiving. So that's uh, John Jaha of the Brewers to start. It's a Dave, uh, it's a Grady Sizemore, Derek Jeter says card from Tops. What year is that? 08? That's not Tops, it's upper deck. I don't know why I said Tops. But is that uh, Donruss Elite from 09? It's a Turkey Red card of Brian Giles when he was in San Diego. And we got going the wrong way here. And we got here uh, Valentin. What year is that? Donruss. It's a different year than you usually see. 96 Donruss. Don't get that very often. It's kind of a neat little shiny design there, the Donruss at the bottom. Good old 90 upper deck. Some uh, 13, right? Uh, tops. Molina's not a bad card, though. Wayne right in the picture. Checklist. Uh, Tigers is there. It's uh, Lou Whitaker, right? So... At least a somewhat star there in Lou Whitaker. A lot of cupping on these 88 tops cards that are there. Some 88 score. And more 90 uh, upper deck. It's more of this 96 Donruss, though. It's different. Santiago is a red I don't remember very often. Tim Salmon. And, boy, these are cupped the wrong way from being in there with a lot of these cupped cards, right? Look at this. Cupped junk wax era cards that are in here this time. It's Kirby Puckett, though. It's at least a star. The line of the Shields, Frank Williams, Russell, Damon Berryhill. What are these? It's a different pinnacle than you usually see. That is. Is that 94 pinnacle? Aguilera, Hal Morris. Two Hal Morris cards. How about that? Whoopee. Uh, Barfield, Hubie, Hubie Brooks. Two Paul Zavala cards. See, Fairfield really hooking me up this time. At least it's not a whole bunch of uh, checklists. And this one, this one you can see it got caught in the pack, right? Let's look at the edge. That's the pack crimping down on it when it was in there. So we're just going to toss that one aside too. Dave Winfield, Hall of Famer at least, right? So it's the first one of them, I guess. Well, Kirby's in there, isn't he? Uh, Mickey Brantley, Jeff Russell, some more of this, uh, it's 91 leaf, right? Yeah. Uh, Mike Fielder, Bob Walk, 93, uh, Fleer here. We have Steve Avery, probably the best of that bunch. Some 89 tops again that's cupped, I can tell you, in my hand. So, no hit, again, not batting well with these. After that first time that I did this, if you go back, watch the old videos there, you know, in the, uh, if you give us a like and subscribe, you can go over to the page there, of course. You can find the old videos I do on these and, uh, you know, do a little better. So let's see if we can find at least maybe like a Glavin or something like that here in the 88 Donruss being the big uh, rookie that I think is in the biggest one probably here in this. And it's Darren Dalton, Caminiti, Lily McGee. So some mid-level stars, not even... I mean, Ken Seiko is probably the biggest card, definitely, in that pack. So, nothing much to really write home about there in the baseball box. Let's uh, get that over here out of the way, and let's check out the football box. Now, again, if you know the difference here in the football box, yeah, your odds are a little bit better on getting a hit and stuff. 
but at least half of this, if not more, is going to be that Sage or Hit or something like that, and you get a lot fewer cards in here, right, within the box. So, um, the pack is 90 score, right, which eh, it's a little better than just getting, in my opinion at least, the modern, you know, Sage or some junk like that, which, you know, if you're familiar with these, right, they're all college uniforms and they don't have the licensing even for that, so they got to screw around with that a little bit. Right, as they're dealing with it. So, Michael Woods. What's this up? George Pickens, right? So, for the Steelers, it's maybe the best card so far. Uh, to do Turner, Devin Tompkins, Jalen Tolbert. That's not a bad one. McBride, Drake London of the Falcons, Wilson, Sutton. All right, so let's see what we got of the actual cards here that aren't, you know, the modern Sage stuff. So it's a tops total, right? Swinton and Drummond. Kenny O'Brien of the Jets. And let's flip this around. This is, I believe, 2,000 tops. Cade McNown. Super Bowl 20 card. Right? Who's that for the Chargers? Is that Marion Butts? Yeah. Stanford Jennings. So Redskins and Seahawks card from that year of score. Wolford. Some more of this Fleer Ultra. And Aeneas Williams. Well, at least Aeneas Williams is a Hall of Famer. <laughs> that's about all you can say for that um no hit again so uh man not bad well in these the one thing i mean they had nothing else at this particular walgreens i was asked not the usual walgreens i go to uh, but these they had the, this was fully stocked of these they had of course like you know uh non-sports cards and things like that but between those boxes and the one bowman pack i saw that was it marino's at least on the top here right so that's something uh rosenbach punters yay uh steve deberg dave brown gary clark dion right second year dion uh rodney hampton langhorn so i mean dion and dan marino it's about all you can ask at a 90 score right uh, you're not going to get much else so let's hope something is in here right that maybe we'll make up for it a little bit but these are six dollars now at uh Walgreens, at least that one. I think they were five dollars before, so they're getting the catch of inflation just like everything else. I mean, those this I, I forget, I don't even know how much this was, but uh, we'll see. So, Colton Welker, Jose Ramirez, Pujols as a Dodger, Jazz Chisholm, see if he comes back well next year, Solaire, Cattell Marte, uh, Jordan Alvarez. What are these? That's a pretty neat card of uh. I'm not even going to try that. Hernandez. Um, Pineda. Yeah, these are pretty neat cards. I don't know what they... Is that like a subset? Or is that... I mean, they're chrome. So, it's a nice little toss-in on the pack there. Uh, Benny Montgomery. Vera. Watson. Pinango. Bernabel. Who's Brett Beatty? That might be one for the PC. i got to check and see if I have that card. Uh, as a Mets fan, I always try to grab onto them. Now, here's the chrome. It's on the back of the pack. It's a couple stuck together right there. There we go. Uh, Alcantara, Noel, Vargas, and Vera. So none of the really big uh, rookies or anything like that even in the pack. Though, you know, I like the Brett Beatty. So that works for me. If that's yeah, I have it, it'll be in the packs that we have for sale. So check us out over in the Etsy shop. Like I said, I'll be updating the baseball packs here over the next week or two. And that might be the last update we do before Christmas. I might try to sneak in at least some football if I can find enough coming in. If you always have product that you could be interested in selling me in bulk, I'm interested in that. Drop me a line over in the Etsy shop. You can hit me there, and uh, we can discuss pricing and things like that. And, uh, you know, I'll be in touch. So check us out over there, and we'll see you in the shop.